Okay, good friend of ours getting married, and we're going to Fort Lauderdale, and we're going to stay at the Kimpton Shorebreak Resort, which is dog friendly. And when Nikki asked what size dog they they were welcoming, they basically said any dog that fits through the door, or pretty much any animal that fits through the door, is welcome at their resort, as long as it's not like an elephant or something like that you're trying to shove through the door. Let's go. Okay, we're ready. Come on, you're guys, ready. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Okay, we're so we're off. So while we're on the road, comment below where you like to go with your dogs. It's uh, always helpful for all of our viewers, friends, and family. They want to know where you go with your dog. Okay, so we've arrived at the Kimpton Shorebreak Hotel in Fort Lauderdale, which looks very nice. This is the exterior view out here. You can see what it looks like out front. Let's go inside with Kona, check it out, check out the lobby. Although the lobby is kind of small, it does have like a really kind of personal, intimate feel. They're very nice. Everybody here was so customer service oriented. Right up the stairs here, there's a very nice looking restaurant. It was closed when we arrived, but um, we saw it when we got back from our wedding. Uh, it was open, there were people eating, having dinner, and then again we saw it in the morning, uh, right before we had to run home again. So we didn't have an opportunity to eat there, but it looked like a very nice Nice restaurant. They have some nice uh, infused water. I, I saw strawberries and orange and other fruit in there. Look yummy. And let's go down here to the front desk again where there's Kona waiting. And oh, one of the nice things is here next to the front desk is water for the dogs. This is the pool over here. There's also a rooftop pool on the tower, which uh, we're gonna have to go check out. But this is the normal outdoor pool. This is kind of a little interesting because it is, this is a Saturday afternoon. The bar's not open, there are no humans out here, not sure. Okay, so we have decided to go, we moved from the king to this double queen because the king was a little bit small room wise. There wasn't a lot of space um, here. So this is great for Kona. When you come in, they've got this little curtains, no light, but that's okay. You can see they have these cute little robes. Cute. Nice little storage area. You have a safe. It smells really nice in here. Little, in terms of the room itself, it is definitely um, a little on the darker side. It's not like a bright room, but we do have some nice big windows over here that we can open and we'll brighten it up a bit, but it smells really, really nice in here. And when you come in too, there's this um, little hanger by the door. So we have our clothes hanging here, a cute little chair. How cute is this? How cute is that? Two queen beds for us. Nice little area rug in the middle. It's got a very art deco feel, which kind of matches the area. This room we are on a corner, so you've kind of got a little garden view. And then to go with the vibe, go with the vibe, we have an art deco type style bathroom, which is pretty, pretty uh, normal for this area. I like it, it's kind of cool. Got a huge shower, huge mirror. Cute little sink, cute little sink. Not very many products, but you have the essentials. We bring our own. And then in here too, you also have another uh, window, which that's kind of cute. Not gonna have it open, but I honestly, I don't think anybody's gonna see in here anyways, with the big, huge um, banana palm. I think it's definitely got a very cool vibe. The air conditioner is the unit because it's obviously an older building. So you're going to have, you're not going to have the modern type air conditioner um, set up in the room. It's very beachy. I guess it's a cross between beachy and art deco. 
like check out the fridge. How art deco is that with the beachy vibe? I think it's a very, very cute look. Obviously not a, a cheap room. Maybe there is different times of the year. They might be less expensive, but there is no pet fees. So you don't pay extra for pet fees and uh, they are all welcome. Let's welcome them now. There they are. Come on, let's see your room. Come on, Kona. Come on. There's your room. Hello, how did you Thank enjoy you. the outside? It's very cute here. It's very cute. We have a little sandy area. Sandy area, looks like they have a little fire pit. I don't know how to use the fire pit, but um, we were sitting in the company. A little hammock too. A little hammock too. I That's think so, he's, that yeah. always makes for entertaining vi videos, like trying to be in the hammock together. <laughs> exactly. So I think this is a very cute, I said it was a cute art deco-y beachy yeah, vibe. Yeah, retro. Yeah, very retro, but with a hint of beach. Yeah. How's the, how's this, how's the place? Here we are. Yeah, and, and the doggies are welcome, Did which like we love. Monkeys? I think the monkeys are very cute. I like the monkeys. Monkeys are like super cute. Monkeys. Yeah. Monkeys. All right, I thought I'd take you for a quick walk upstairs to go see their signature rooftop bar and pool overlooking Fort Lauderdale. So it was early in the morning, so it wasn't open when I arrived here. They were just setting up the bar at the time, but it's a beautiful day. You could see all around the area. You could see down the intercoastal. If I look over here to the left, you can see like kind of between the buildings to the Atlantic Ocean. Seems like a great pool deck, lots of amenities, that kind of stuff. Let's go downstairs, find Nikki, and we'll talk about our overall experience. Okay, love, so we're winding this down. What do you think? So we definitely enjoyed our time here. I think that it's great because the location is literally a block and a half to the beach. Great restaurants nearby. That was fabulous. The <laughs> staff and people that work here are amazing. Super friendly, super nice. We love that. And they were most welcoming to Kona. So that's a big thing when you're here in Fort Lauderdale is finding a place that takes a dog that's bigger than 10 pounds yeah. and they're happy to have him, which we love that. Yeah, it was all good. Yeah. It was, wasn't perfect though. We had a couple little things which yeah, weren't exactly bit. right for us. Like we, we felt like, so it's beautiful, but this definitely has the vibe or it had to have been like a 1950s motel, motel yeah. which they've obviously spent a lot of money updating it and making wonderful, but it still kind of feels like you're staying yeah, in a it definitely, 1950s, it yeah. very nice Walk motel. Walk outside still, to your door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the amenities were current, although yeah. the one thing I will say is like 11 o'clock at night, I, the I air wanted- The conditioning is very loud too. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't hear that, I slept well. But I wanted like a soda, like a Coke or something like that, and I couldn't find a vending machine. I went down to the front desk and they don't even have like a little, um, you know how there's normally that little store in the, yeah. or a little shopping area in the um, lobby? They don't have any of those services here. There is a restaurant, but the restaurant has limited hours. So at like 11 o'clock, you can't go say, I want a Coke. Um, and outside of that, it well, was- I think it's a great location, yeah. um, you know, for, for us staying with him. It was perfect. totally perfect. Yeah. Totally perfect. Yeah. And I guess one of the pluses of like that 1950s motel vibe is these walls are like super thick concrete. And I don't even feel like if he blew a fit, heard somebody and was barking in the middle of the night, I don't think it bothered the neighbors. Yeah. They, neighbors, if it bothered you, comment below. <laughs> but we uh, talked to our neighbors, so yes. hopefully it didn't bother them. Yes, but <laughs> otherwise. Uh, We've hope, had a really nice day. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and give it one of these. We could actually say that on YouTube, like the video please. Um, or if you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down button twice. We appreciate that, that helps. <laughs> and, uh, and okay, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.